What up, people? God damn it. If I said it once, I said it a million motherfucking times. I'm literally done sticking my head out for people because it always bites me in my motherfucking ass. People take kindness for a weakness. I don't know what it is, but every time I've ever stuck out my neck for someone, And it's like, fuck. I'd hate to say it, but it, a lot, it, the three times I've straight up said, all right, well, you're a service member. Well, you're getting a discount. They ended up jerking me around in one way, shape, or form. So it's like, you know what? Fuck it. I ain't taking the fucking program away because it's a good program that I believe in. That's why I started it. But... You ain't getting your discount until we are there in person, and then I decide. If you're a dick, you ain't getting shit discount off of me. If you're really cool and good person, you're gonna get my discount. But other than that, fuck, you know, I'm sorry. A lot of you guys aren't dicks, but there are a lot who are. And the three past three times, I've gotten fucked. Like this guy, I, you know, he tells me, well, can you meet me outside the gate at 11? So I'm like, well, you in the Navy? He's like, yeah, all right, well, I'm going to give you 10 bucks off. Oh, cool, thanks, man. So I told him, all right, man, 11 o'clock at the Wawa, right out in front of the gate. I'm going to be in a dark green Mustang convertible, more than likely by the air pumps. But we'll get in touch in the morning. And he said, yeah, I'll get up with you. I sat for 45 minutes waiting on that fucking guy. I didn't hear shit from him all morning. And I should have took that as a clue when I told him at about quarter after 10. All right, well, I'm leaving my house. I should be over at the fucking Wawa by quarter to 11. I hear nothing. I got there. I'm here. Nothing. And I got there at about 10 till. 11 o'clock rolls around. Hey, I'm here. And then about every 10 minutes, I'd text him, I'm here, are you on the way, are you coming? And then after about 45 minutes of that shit, I just told him what he could do and where he could go. And don't fucking bother fucking uh, messaging me later because if something came up, you could have fucking told me. You could have messaged me, you could have texted me, you could have called me, you could have done something. And if you do a no-call, no-show on me, I'm never going to sell to you again. You know, I store numbers in my phone as Blackball. And then it's Blackball 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. So if it's just someone who I've Blackballed and... Two months later, they see one of my ads and they want to buy something. I see it. I don't even respond. And I know not to respond because I don't deal with people who stand me up. That's bullshit. But anyway, enough ranting, you know. But that is common. You know, the guy could have fucking said something. And more than likely, he changed his mind and didn't want him anymore. But you could have said something before you had my ass come all the way to fuck out at goddamn 11 o'clock to meet your sorry fucking ass, you know? But anyway... Alright. Well, anyway... This works out because when I went to the, uh fucking pawn shop I always go to, or pawn shop, thrift store my favorite one thrift store city over there by the base um, because I've had someone who is looking for a Wii Fit and uh, I come across them all the time so I told this person and it was about 2-3 or three days ago I'm like yeah man this is someone who's bought stuff for me in the past says uh wife wants to we fit i'm like cool i ain't got none at the present moment but when i get one you will be the first one to know you know and i fucking 
found a wee fit. She's a little dirty. I'm gonna have to clean it up. But luckily, there ain't no, like, corrosion in the fucking battery compartment. The people were smart enough to take the fucking batteries out when they died. Or when they were decided they were done using the Wii Fit, they took the batteries out. Which, you know, that's what you're supposed to do before they end up doing corrosion. Because that corrosion will damage shit. If that shit hits the motherboard, you're fucked. You're done. If it's only on the metal connectors, you can clean that bullshit off, you know? But anyway, I'm not gonna lift that big motherfucker up to show y'all how much I paid. If I can get it in focus. There we go. Three dollars and sixteen cents. For a goddamn we fit. Then I'm like, well, shit, I need a game. <coughs> and I know I said I'd never do it, but there's a GameStop literally right by a goddamn thrift store city. And then they're having a sidewalk sale. So I'm like, well, let me see. And of course, we fit was in there, one of the games. And I paid 89 cent for it because I'm a pro member or whatever. But it's normally 99 cent, so it's like whoop de doo I saved a dime, you know. But that's cheaper than what I would have paid to go pick up We Fit over at a retro shop because they usually sell them for about five. But um. But the only thing is, it's in this fucking black DVD case. But it's got that and the manual. The manual. <laughs> so yeah, they are getting the uh, complete fucking. Uh, Shit, and that's the only way I'd ever sell a Wii Fit board. Is if it came with the game, with the manual. You know? So, you know how to operate the goddamn thing, you know? So, you know, that's a quick $15, you know? I, I usually sell them for $20, but, um... If it's someone who I've dealt with before, and deal with a lot goddamn a friend I always sell it a little bit cheaper but uh yeah man if you can find we fits on the low I suggest getting them you know because retro shops won't take them and you can sell it and you're probably gonna sit on it for a few minutes but you'll make your money back you know cuz a lot of chicks like we fit like, I remember my first wife. Well, my only wife. But we got divorced. But, um, yeah, man. She wanted We Fit, man, when it first came out. Fuck. It was like $150 for the goddamn board. I mean, the game was 50 I mean, when We Fit Plus came out, I had to run out and get that motherfucker. You know, them chicks fucking love it. You know, like casual gamer chicks, not like real gamer chicks. Real gamer chicks wouldn't touch we fit. <laughs> you know? But anyway, yeah, just in general, like casual gamers, they love that fucking shit, man. They eat that, like, we fit and we sport shit live, man. But anyway, that is what I found. So, for not even $4, I got a complete Wii Fit. And then, earlier today, it was $70 PSP Vita, so... I had a damn good day today. I brought down some small game and some big game, so... Yeah. A little 
would put the uh, PSP up on the uh, wall of fame. The wall of fame of big game hunts that I've been on. <laughs> I still can't believe that shit. 70 bucks, baby. That's how we roll. That's how game chasing go. You gotta stay on it. That's why I've been doing this. a lot of Craigslist game hunting since the thrift stores have been dry. It's like that uh, Wii Fit board must have just fucking came out because it wasn't there yesterday because I was literally just there yesterday. So, and then fucking <coughs> a CHKD down there had a goddamn a Game Boy Color with Pokemon Red and the label was fucking sun faded to hell. They wanted 29 for it. It's like, are you kidding me? Fuck. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? You know? It's a, you're a thrift store, not a retail establishment. You know? What the fuck is wrong with you? And then it's a goddamn Game Boy Color. And a fucked up version of Pokemon Red. It's like, come on, guys. Really? So I'm, I'm going to wait and hopefully they mark it down and I and someone else don't fucking decide to get it. Because it did work. I tested it. It's in good shape. So hopefully I, they'll mark it down. If I can get it for 15 I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't pay no more than 15 As you can see, I'm in another one of our tunnels here. Because we got a shit ton of tunnels down here. And usually the traffic's always fucked. But, um, yeah. In between the morning and lunch, lunch rush, you can get through these things, no problem. Yeah, but I figured I'd just show off our uh, one of our other tunnels. Because the first tunnel was the Monitor Merrimack Memorial Tunnel. This one was the Hampton Roads. And um, there's two more. You got the downtown tunnel and the midtown tunnel. So, yeah. I'll videotape those the next time I'm out that way. But that's it for pickups for today. I might head out later. But um, I don't know. I've got a lot of shit going on today. But I'd like to get out to uh, hit a couple more thrift stores that I ain't been to. Out in like uh, Maneuver News, Hampton area. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, peace.